Now more than ever, employees calling for a hybrid work model, but many don't understand how working from home could be costing them cash. Local financial professional Jeff Massey from Massey and Associates here to share the uh, financial pros and cons of working remotely. Good morning, Jeff. Good morning, Patrick. So uh, tell us about uh, some of the secret costs of working from home. Of course, employees are working from home, spending a lot more time at home. Therefore, they're spending likely more money on their utilities, whether it's air conditioning in the summer, heat in the winter. Those are costs that you might not really give too much thought to. Additionally, you're home more, so you might be spending a little bit more on food as well. So those are a couple of the big ones. And then if you have to set up a home office with a desk and a chair, or perhaps a printer and supplies, things of that nature, that could really cost a pretty penny. And many people have moved during the pandemic, so their rent might be uh, costing them a little bit more or perhaps their mortgage might have gone up if they bought a bigger home so they would have more space in which to work from home. So I want to ask you about employees being able to write off any of these expenses when they're filing their taxes. Is that possible? Well, due to the tax law changes that were implemented in 2018, the ability to write those costs off have been done away with. Now, thankfully, that'll sunset in 2026. But right now, you're not able to actually take those deductions. You might want to check with your employer to see if they might be, might be able to help out with some of those expenses for you, though. And uh, how can working remotely positively impact a person's finances? Well, according to recent surveys, people have been focusing more on saving. So I think that's an important part. Um, and when you're looking at that and you're saving money on your commuting time, let's face it, time is money. You know, we've all heard that adage. So when you look at that, uh, you're spending more time with family and friends, hopefully. And that's a that's a big part. And hopefully will help you focus on your savings so that you can save more for the future, because that obviously is very important. All right, helpful tips as always. Jeffrey Massey joining us this morning. You're back again next hour uh, with more, so we'll see you in a little bit. Thanks. Welcome back. Recent survey found 63% of workers want a hybrid work model. 20% want to work totally remote, but could your home office come with a cost? Local financial professional Jeff Massey from Massey & Associates back with us again this morning to uh, share how working remotely can impact your pocketbook. What are some secret costs of working from home, Jeff? Well, good morning, Patrick. Uh, some of the secret costs would be your utilities and your food expenses, you know, because you're spending more time at home. And another expense might be that you had to purchase a desk and a chair and maybe a printer and office supplies. All of those items kind of add up. So it's important to keep track of them as you go forward. And it's so important to make sure that you're, you've got a good handle on those expenses. And many people didn't have enough space to work from home. So they might have moved into a larger apartment or purchased a larger home. So that expense is another thing that is important to kind of keep track of as well. Everyone's always looking for write-offs, Jeff, when it comes to tax season. Are employees able to write off these uh, expenses <laughs> when they are doing their taxes? Well, write-offs are great when you can get them. Unfortunately, if you're an employee working for another company, you don't have that ability since the 2018 tax law changes. You know, there are always uh, exceptions. And if you are self-employed, you are able to make deductions for the space that you dedicate for your work uh, in your home. So that's an important one to keep in mind. All right, let's also talk about many people have been working from home for months. Uh, what can they do now to prepare for the future as things maybe change a little bit? Well, as with anything, it's always important to have a plan, especially with your finances. And perhaps you should update your budget. Now, budgets, you know, kind of like a pair of pants. They might have fit us great before the pandemic, but maybe not so much anymore. <laughs> so it's important to modify your budget as your life changes as you move forward. And budgeting, that process can be quite daunting at times. How do you uh, suggest people get started on that sort of a situation that they might not be too comfortable with? Well, it can be daunting. You know, we have a simple worksheet on our website, MasseyOnMoney.com, and we call it the Income Gap Assessment. You want to track all different types of your income, track your expenses, take a look at that. If your expenses are less than your income, well, that should be going towards your savings because savings is so important. Let's face it. 
you deserve a great retirement. So you need to start saving, whether you're in your 20s or a few years away, never too early, never too late to start saving for that retirement. Start a little bit at a time, add to it as you get a raise as you go forward. Because again, you deserve a great retirement. And the only way you get that is by starting to save. Cutting your expenses is a great way to start. All right, Jeff, as always, thanks for joining us. Really appreciate it. We'll be posting both of these interviews on our website, WPRI.com.